Hi, uh, my name is Anis Uzman and I'm an investor and a venture capitalist located in Silicon Valley in the US. I, today I want to talk about how you can convince an investor to invest in your startup or in your idea. First of all, when you are approaching an investor or a venture capitalist, please make sure you are going through a reference. Investors tend to believe the people they have worked with in the past. So if you're coming through a reference, it is easy for us to believe you instantly and, and look into your idea and make progress and take the next step forward. It is very important. As a professional investors, uh, we actually talk to many, many people and we tend to understand you within 10 minutes of your presentation. Uh, we can actually feel the vibe and passion and the energy that comes out of you. We actually prefer founding CEOs and the founding members of the team to be part of the company. So if you have founded the company and then you are the running the CEO, then you have a better possibility to convince us and get funding from, uh, from us. Um, please, when you are approaching an investor, you need to make sure that you are uh, approaching a VC who has not invested in a company similar to your company. So as you are doing your research and due diligence on the venture capitalist, please make sure that you are approaching a VC who have not invested in, the, in a similar idea. Then it will be very difficult for them to actually invest in your company. Uh, angels, on the other hand, they tend to actually invest in similar types of companies. So you might have better luck if you're approaching an angel versus a VC in case if you are uh, not sure that the VC you are approaching has invested in a company similar to yours or not. Now, as you are preparing your presentation, I'm sure that you are going to put together a slide deck. As you're putting together the slide deck, please make sure that you state the problem you are trying to solve very clearly. Um, in, in, in your presentation slide, as an investor, I would like to see uh, the problem statement uh, stated very clearly and there is a solution that, uh, that is also presented. So your startup will be solving that problem and that has to be very clear at the beginning part of your presentation. You also need to be careful about the market size. You need to understand the market that you will be playing a big, uh, big role at. So as you are presenting the company, please make sure that you have very good knowledge about the market size and the market size is at least $100 million or more. We also want to like uh, see uh, traction of your company. So there are two types of traction that we can think of, uh, the user traction and then the financial traction. So please make sure that uh, the product that you have is already being used by many users or it has some financial traction. You are already selling your product and solution and you are making money. Team actually is another very important item. Uh, if you ask any Silicon Valley investors that what is the most important thing in a startup, many of them say that it's team, team and team. So team is very important. You need to find out people who has the same energy level and same passion level as you do. And you form a team with a similar type of people who can work as a team and can show the investors that you can make a difference together. Knowing about your competition is another very important aspect. If you do not know your competition and you are trying to open up a startup, then most likely the investors will not have the confidence they need in you to be able to make a decision. So it is very important that you know your competition very well. You also need to have a solid business plan and a business model which can prove to us that you will be, re you will be able to execute the idea and, and be able to make money and make this a real success. Finally, we want you to know clearly what kind of funding you are looking for, how much money you need, and what would be you doing with this money. So it is very important for us to know the areas where you will be utilizing this funding that you'll be getting from us. So these are some of the core elements that you need to be very careful about and you need to prepare based on these items that I just explained to you. And then if you approach the right investors, I'm sure that you will have success.